Hashtag Art Philosophy about my art and my Asperger's. The creatures of Robert John Burton. A display of some of my artworks. I am a regional Australian artist who works with clay. Creatures as a descriptive for my creations began early. Although to my mind, Creature reflected the cruel indictments I received from others because they did not understand I was neurodiverse. Nor did I. I was angry and frustrated for a reason that no one cared for. Regardless, and in spite of myself and the world which I found mean, I worked hard. For years, I made sculptures of whimsy and pushed my limits in working with clay. This tested the opinions of a lot of conventional potters too. I set a test for myself, I would make a new cat design every few months. The older, the better. My cats found themselves in statewide newspapers. Radio stations wanted to interview me. One gallery I was in would have different animal themes every year. Fish, dogs, birds, so forth. Lots of exhibitions, lots of comments for good or bad. I was enjoying myself, a short sure sign of trouble, people get jealous, the arts was a small pond then. In retaliation, I was weird anyway, so my creations, my creations became odder. I invented names to go with my creatures, meet a wordly. Dardax, hunting packs, I mean with teeth like that, I was reflecting the world around me. Religion made art and I don't believe in anything omniscient, however, it does give some great ideas. That goes for pseudoscience like Feng Shui too, Rats for 2020, the year of the white metal rats. There are dogs, native animals, farm animals and mythical creatures too in my collection. Imagination is limitless. Skills depend on a willingness to experiment. My asping mind was perfect for the obsession needed. I have made many pieces. I shall continue. I will start again after a break to look at the world in my curious way as a person with Asperger's looking for some peace. Thanks for viewing. Support a regional artist and subscribe, comment and like.